Hey everybody, it's Pastor Stephen, and I have been missing you so much and missing worshiping with my church family. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of you uh, this Sunday as we reopen uh, our campus uh, for Sunday morning worship. I just want to uh, do a short video uh, to tell you a little bit about what to expect for those of you who are planning to uh, join us on Sunday. The service starts at 9.30, but I would strongly encourage you to come at about 9.15 uh, Sunday morning just to give plenty of time to park and to come over and to maintain social distance. The most important thing you need to remember when you come from home is your mask. Now, I highly recommend a Packers mask if you have one. Uh, please note, no Yankees masks nor Cowboys masks are allowed, Mrs. Harshman. Uh, but wear your mask. If you forget a mask, we do have some extra ones here for you. But uh, at all times when you're on the campus, we want people to wear masks um, as uh, we gather because uh, the first thing that's most important to us is that as we regather, we stay safe. Um, and wearing a mask is the simplest thing any of us can do, as well as maintaining distance. So as you're gathering, you're probably going to see people you haven't seen for a while. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to ask you know, that we refrain from the, the usual greetings of hugs and handshakes. Uh, just say hi to people and, um, and know that they're happy to see you as well as you are uh, very happy to see them. There will be people outside the church uh, to greet you and to uh, answer any questions you have and give you direction. But come a little bit early, bring your mask, come on over and come to the sanctuary and you can come in. Uh, if there's hand sanitizer, and extra masks if you need them, and then come on inside. So when you come inside, there'll be some greeters uh, inside uh, to help you find your way. And the one thing that you're going to notice is that not all of the pews are going to be open. We're going to use these uh, little doors that we have in our historic church. And if the little door is closed, that means that pew is closed. If the door is open, that means that pew is open for you to sit in. We'll have some signs on the pews uh, reminding you uh, that there are some that are closed. The only pew that's off, uh, off limits for all of you is this pew here. This is Nancy Tyndall's pew. This is for her. Just kidding. Um, as people come to sit in the pews, if you are by yourself, uh, you can sit at one end of the pew and we'll have another single person sitting at the other end. If it's two or more in your family, you'll have a pew uh, to yourself. And the people who are greeting will make sure that you find your way. Once the open pews downstairs here are filled up, uh, some of the uh, boxes up in the balcony will be open and uh, some of the seating areas up there will be open as well. And so, uh, you know, people will help direct you, make sure it's clear uh, where it's okay for us to sit. Again, to maintain social distance as we gather to worship. So what's gonna happen on Sunday morning? We're gonna gather to worship God. And uh, what is, uh, the, the service is going to be the exact same service that you've been watching uh, for those of you who have been um, worshiping with us uh, online. Um, but instead of watching on our own individual devices, we'll be watching on our screens here. Or uh, if we have we fill up our sanctuary, there's gonna be seating next door. We'll go over there in just a second as well. And you'll see the exact same service. And I know some of you are saying, well, gee, why go to church if I can watch the exact same service? And why are you doing that? And the reason is this, there are some members of our church community who for lots of different reasons either can't or won't be able to come to worship and we don't want them to miss out we don't want them to feel as if there's something happening here that they can't participate in or that they can't witness and so we think it's important that we worship together as a family whether people stay home or whether they come together the reason that we're encouraging you to start to come back to church is because our church is a community and we miss each other and we want to see each other um, and even though we can't greet and worship in the way that we've become accustomed to at this time, I think it's important that we begin to um, 
uh, re-engage in that wonderful practice of Sabbath worship on Sunday mornings uh, as a community of faith. And so that's why the session has voted to, to encourage people, if they're comfortable, to come back, wear your masks, stay, stay distance, and worship in the same way that we have. Um, during the service, uh, as you've been watching, you know, we're going to have some great music. Uh, but when we gather together, we're not going to stand and sing out loud. If you'd like to, to hum along or, or sing in your spirit, feel free. But there's not going to be any out loud singing uh, because we have been told that that's one of the ways that this virus can be more easily transmitted. And we don't want to do anything that could possibly uh, endanger anyone. So we're going to maintain social distance. We're going to sing in our spirits. Um, but we are going to encourage you to gather uh, and to worship. When the service ends, um, we're going to ask the people who are seated downstairs here to, to exit out the front. Uh, if you want to bring your offering with you, you can drop your offering in the offering plate. And then we're going to ask you to go out these front doors and then down and walk back along the sides of the sanctuary. The people who are seated up in the balcony, you can go right down. And again, there'll be a, an offering plate left in the front door for those of you who'd like to bring your offerings with you. Um, and then you can go out the front doors. Again, after service is over, we encourage you to greet one another, say good morning, but maintain that important social distance. If the church, uh, if the sanctuary fills up because we're only using so many of the pews, we, we can only uh, get uh, about 70 or 80 people in the sanctuary safely at the most. If more people than that come, there's going to be overflow seating uh, next door in Schulte Hall and the Potter Room. And if we fill that up, we'll even be able to go down to Schaefer Hall down at Crossroads. So let me take you next door and we'll show you what to expect there. So once again, um, once the sanctuary has filled up um, and there, aren't, uh, there isn't room for people to sit, we're going to ask you to come right down the sidewalk here and come on in. Schulte Hall again. There'll be someone here to greet you. Forgot your mask. Uh, forgot your Packers mask. Some extra ones here. Hand sanitizer, and you can uh, come right on in. So here we are in Schulte Hall. Uh, it's set up uh, to receive people and keep them socially distanced. Once we fill up the sanctuary and we come in here, there'll be somebody here to greet you as well. If you come as a couple or as a family, we'll simply put chairs together so you can all sit together and still maintain uh, the social distance from uh, the other people who are going to be worshiping in here. If this room fills up, we'll then go into the Potter Room uh, with a very similar setup. And again, you'll be watching the exact same service on the screen at the exact same time, so we'll, in effect, be worshiping together even though we're in different spaces. One very important thing to remember, uh, not only to remember your mask, but please remember to go to the bathroom before you come to church because we are going to have the bathrooms closed unless it's an emergency. Of course, uh, you can use it then, but again, in trying to keep people safe, uh, we're going to keep the bathrooms closed. But, you know, I just am so excited to uh, welcome you back onto our campus as we slowly begin to reopen. Uh, if we're living through this pandemic. Uh, we just want people to be safe, most importantly, and we want to worship together. Uh, those values are very, very important to us, and so that's why we're uh, doing things the way that we are. Can't wait to see you on Sunday. <laughs>